Hey lovely souls, it's Mariella, the creator from One Horn LA, and today I am starting my junk journal series, A Garden of Dreams, and Lara's junk journal. I'm really excited for this series to start. Today, we're gonna be making the cover for these junk journals using a cereal box or any type of cardboard material that you have. So I hope you join in and start creating this beautiful journal with me. Thanks for joining me today. I have a lot to share with you. So I am starting a series where I'm going to craft with you my newest project. And this project is called Garden of Dreams Alara's Journal. Originally, it was named A Picnic of Dreams. Um, but I realized that it was going to be fall and the colors I was using and the theme was very spring. So we're going to try and make it work. And for this, we're going to challenge ourselves and use acrylic and a box, any box. You can use a cereal box. I'm using a foot by the foot box um, to create this journal. Okay. Um, unfortunately, when I was recording this outside, my neighbors started cleaning their yard and it was really loud. So I am doing a voiceover, but it's okay. Um, so now I'm telling you here how we're going to mix these colors. I don't end up using the purple color that you're going to see me mix here later on. I do use this Tiffany blue uh, that I bought at Michael's, this chalk paint. I thought it was chalk paint that you could write on, but it turns out that it was chalk paint to basically paint furniture. I ended up adding some distress on top of the original cover, but originally actually it was supposed to be a Tiffany blue with purple flowers. But the flowers didn't come out and instead of trashing the whole project, I decided to just paint over it with the purple. Um, but for this demonstration, I'm going to paint the original color on the box which is going to be a tiffany blue and i'm going to add a distressed white which is the crackle paint i am using the tim holtz paint for this if you don't have crackle paint you can use white acrylic paint and to add texture you can glue some tissue paper before you paint over it but make sure to get um the tissue paper and scrunch it up before you glue it on and um and then you'll paint your tiffany blue on top and then you'll add your swatches of white like you're gonna see me do later on in the video um so while we're working on this i will explain a little bit about the concept and the visual board that's gonna be guiding our creative here but the full story and concept is on the blog right now and you can head over and download the visual board so you can have it with you and reference the colors and the inspiration and you can read through the concept story as well uh, it's a good idea to head over there and do that because i will be adding you know free graphics and items that you'll be able to use to complete this journal here you're seeing me cut the bottom of the box, so you'll have to decide which side is going to be your spine um, and just cut all the extra flaps from the box. So first we're cutting the bottom flap and try to get it as straight as you can. Uh, be careful when you're cutting it because it's not perfectly aligned from both sides. So that's why you see me kind of struggling here a little bit and just trying to fix it. Now choose the side you want for a spine and cut the other side off.
here you see me cleaning it up and just cutting that little piece that ripped off when I was pulling the box apart. I'm going to start painting. I Here's where I decide to do the colors that I wanted in the first place, which was the Tiffany blue with the white only. Um, but as I said before, I tried painting some purple flowers and that didn't work out. So I didn't want to trash the project and I just mixed every all the colors together. But for this video, we're going to do the Tiffany blue on top and the white crackle paint. If you have acrylic paint, you should use acrylic paint instead of chalk paint. I'm only using chalk paint because it was on sale at Michael's and um, it was the exact color I wanted. That's why I bought it. But if you only have acrylic paint, you can mix some blue and green and some white and you should be able to get the Tiffany blue mixture. Um, also, if you are using chalk paint, make sure to dry your brush and to mix the paint before you use it. I forgot to mix the paint and I just started painting. Um, another thing is I noticed I was going to have to do three coats to cover all the pictures on that box. And it takes about an hour for a layer to dry and um, to speed up the process, I use my heat gun, my handheld heat gun that I just got from Temu and it works amazing. If you don't have any patience like me when you're doing artwork or watercolor and you want things to dry fast, I recommend this heat gun, it's perfect. While I paint, I'll talk about the concept. Um, as you can tell, I'm going to use the Tiffany blue. That's going to be the dominant color for this journal. But I'm also going to add plum for depth and a grayish pink, some dusty blues. And to add a vintage distress to the pages or whenever I'm going to use a stain, I'm going to go with the Tim Holtz Vintage Photo and Walnut Stain. And those are going to be my main um, inks for stamps or anything that, you know, needs some sort of detail with ink on there. For the concept, um, this concept is personal. I live in LA and LA is very hectic during the day. If you're driving around, there's always traffic. So for me, my mom's garden is a sanctuary from the city. It's where I paint. It's where I craft. It's where... I can just relax and unwind. So the story is based off a girl named Alara who also lives in a city and she relaxes in her own little garden where she paints, she reads, and she gardens. So the pages on this journal, I'm thinking, are going to be themed around those hobbies. I'm not exactly sure yet what they're gonna be but that is the idea right now be sure to check out the entire concept story and download the vision board for this project on the blog i will have the link on the description box of this video and it's a good idea to subscribe because i will also share other digital assets as the series continues on the blog one more thing if you like what you're seeing Hit the like button. Here I start swatching uh, the white crackle paint. I don't really have a formula for this. I'm just going with it um, wherever I think it needs it. 
<clears throat> the idea behind this is that I want it to look sort of like a distressed outside wall. Um, and and uh, I'm just swatching and having fun with it, really. So do what you like, um, how you want it. Put as much paint as you want on this part. Again, you can use acrylic paint and that's going to work just fine. Now, I'm trying to see if the window that I want to use is too big. We are going to be making window elements for the outside cover. I'm creating templates and different options to do this. I already have a window for one of my, for the original cover, and it's actually made out of package. Uh, some packaging I got for stickers. And, um, yeah, so, again, make sure to subscribe, make sure to go to the blog. A template for a window that you can use is going to be there. And on the next video, we will be ex experimenting with different options on how to create a window for our cover. I want to mention that you don't have to make a window. This window is from the Dollar Tree. It's just a pack of stickers of windows and you can just go and grab that if you don't want to try to make your own. But I am going to make a template so that you can make your own like this one or similar to it. This was actually already cut out for me from a package. It was a sticker package um, and I just reused it by painting it and adding the crackle paint with the stencil on there. And um, I still don't know which window I'm going to use or what I'm going to use, but we will be working on windows on the next series. I mean, next episode, not series. <laughs> now I'm going to add the liquid glass to seal the, uh, the paints. Um, and you have to add this liquid glass if you're adding that crackle paint. Um, because otherwise it's going to chip off. Even if you use acrylic, acrylic stays a little sticky. And I really like the finish of the liquid glass. It just gives it a glossy look. And it makes it more durable. So make sure to add that as a sealer. And use a paintbrush that you're not worried about. Because this is going to mess it up and harden the bristles I always end up putting the, the brush inside alcohol and it helps take some of it off but that brush is never going to be the same this is where I use my fingers to spread it and smooth it out because that brush was leaving a lot of streaks Again, if you have a paintbrush, a new one that you don't care for with new bristles, it's going to give you a smoother application. Just make sure to dip it in alcohol as soon as you're done with it so you can clean off all that um, material from it. I don't want to wait for it to dry, so I used, again, the heat gun. And I accidentally get so close to it that it starts bubbling up, and that's how I figured that resin bubbles up and liquid glass bubbles up if you put the heat gun really close to it so uh, try to keep moving it and um yeah just keep moving the heat gun around so you don't burn any parts of it you could let it rest and it's gonna take about i would say two hours or three for it to dry completely So you don't have to use a heat gun, you could just air dry it. Make sure to stand it up for what period of time when you're drying it. 
The liquid glass is flexible, but you do want to stand that spine up and make sure that it closes. It's able to close and open without a problem. We're going to end the video here. On the next episode, we'll work on some windows and other elements for our outside cover. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date on the next episode. Until then, keep making memories and recording them in your beautiful junk journals.